Hello everybody, season two, here we come, it's the 2013 season of the Western Kentucky Dynasty, and here it is, the debut of true freshman quarterback John Cruz, he's a, more of a scrambler type quarterback, but he's got some really good passing, throwing ratings, I guess I should get my shiz together here, but we are taking on the University of Texas at San Antonio Roadrunners. That is a mouthful. We will refer to them as UTSA from this point on. Look at John Cruz looking to scramble after breaking off the sack and instead finds Rico Brown wide open downfield. 49-yard touchdown pass to Mr. Brown. So a good start for John Cruz in his career. He was perfect on that opening drive. But uh, UTSA, they've got a scramble to themselves. This uh, Eric Souza guy is a pretty good runner at quarterback. So we got to keep an eye on him, and look at this. Brown, the freshman defensive end who took the place of senior Quinter Smith, last, who graduated last season. Brown uh, living up to expectations so far, and look at this. It's Mr. Arius Wright who's got the interception, and he's going to outrun everybody for the touchdown pick six, baby. Way to start. 14-zip. To open up this game here and the Roadrunners just uh, unfortunately for them it's it's only their third season as a football program only their second season in the FBS so to be fair you know it's it's not going to be easy for them to come out with any big wins especially after the season that we had that was pretty solid nine and four in year one as most of you that have been following this know but uh, our defense showing up here in Major Pain. Major Pain comes in. Of course, his first name is not actually Major, but we will refer to him as that anyway. But they do tack on the 50-yard field goal. That was quite a kick. So now it's 14-3 in the middle of the second quarter, and Cruz just showing his ability to put that ball in there and, and get some nice completions. I mean, we haven't really seen him run. It's what he's actually best at is running, and nobody's really seen it happen because he's passing really well. And uh, Keyshawn Simpson, first big play of the season for him, busts off a run with excellent blocking. I love that. Just blocking makes me happy. And then we get star wide receiver Cam Jones gets destroyed, fumbles it, and is injured on the play. Just a double whammy for UTSA on that one. And Cruz going to roll out, extending the play. That's what we love about these types of quarterbacks who, who are so mobile is they can extend plays or when there's good coverage, take off like this for a nice 12, 14-yard gain there for the first down. But we would settle for a field goal on that drive. 24-3 after Jesse Roy's 26-yarder. So things are looking great against UTSA. I mean, this isn't really a surprise. It's so like I said, they're just really not that great of a team at this point. They're still kind of being eased into the FBS, as it were. So a good defensive play for us there in the half would run out 24-3. Pretty one-sided vic or not victory. <laughs> pretty one-sided game so far. Um, nothing too surprising. Although our freshman quarterback doing very well, even though the defense that he's going up against is uh, very below average. So now they would get the ball to start the second half, and look at this. Harrison finds some nice yardage over the middle of the field. Souza would go back to throw again, but it's gonna be. American President Andrew Jackson making the sack. Star linebacker in the heart of our defense from last season. But they would find Cam Jones, who returns from his injury and fumble earlier for a first down. And you know, Harrison over the middle, middle again. Today's a good day. I'm going to have to go off on a little tiny tangent here. So I just got off work about 30 minutes ago, and it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I got off work early today, because uh, what they do at my job is if there's nothing to do, they will send some people home if you apply for it, and it's very nice. I enjoy it, so 
some extra time off. And now it's third and goal as we get back into the action, and it's going to be Glasgow getting some nice blocks there, some great blocking from UTSA for their first touchdown of the game. And so uh, we were not happy about that. We wanted to hold them to as little points as we could, including not a touchdown. <laughs> so we find Joel German. He gets a block from Bo Brandon. He is going down the sideline, not going to have enough speed to take it to the house, but... Close enough to the 20-yard line. That's going to set us up very nicely with Keyshawn Simpson getting some more awesome blocking. We were just destroying them at the point of attack. So first and goal after the big Simpson run. He goes right in there for the touchdown, his second on the day. Man, we love Keyshawn Simpson. He is the man. Somebody tell that man I love him. All right, so now... Their next drive, it's Moeller with the big catch. We jump ahead to third and one. What's going on? I hit sticked. And that's why you don't hit stick like that. You got to get a good angle on them. And I tend to get a little hit stick happy at times. They find Cam Jones wide over the middle. I don't know where our guys over the middle were. I think we were blitzing the middle linebackers or something. But sometimes a disadvantage to running that 3-4 defense there. Then we jump offside, but it doesn't even matter because they score. And that's the freshman, Nicholas Brown. Got to get it straightened out there with the freshman. So now, you know, they're kind of back in it. 31-17, it's not over yet. So we're looking to avoid plays like that, a five-yard loss. We jump ahead to third and ten. And look at this, Tyler Higby, beautiful play right over the middle burning their defense for a first down. And now we're going to find Keyshawn Simpson on a screenplay with, yes, more amazing blocking. He would be run down at the 14-yard line around there. Pretty massive gain there, so third and three. And it's nobody, nobody there to block him, I guess. Tyler Higby for the touchdown, number 19. And uh, watch the ball after he makes the catch. Just watch this. And whoop. Oh, he just he threw it. It just like launched out of his arm in the other direction. I don't know what happened there. And then we have Oliver Head, our third string halfback, getting in some action. Cause, uh, I like to trade carries between Simpson and John Evans. Evans, I think, was injured for part of the game, though. Uh, but yeah, 38-17. Pretty nice start for Western Kentucky. I mean, it was against UTSA. Not really an impressive team. So we have to take it with a grain of salt. But a win's a win. And uh, we had some really nice plays in this game. And uh, this will be some nice momentum to carry over into our next game, which will be at home again. Back-to-back -back games at home. This one will be against Kentucky, who we lost to when we played in their house last year. And uh, we're looking for some redemption. We want to get, we want to get that win against an in-state team like Kentucky. So that will be important, especially with Kentucky being an, an SEC team. That will be a big game for us if we can get that win. Yeah, a good game. It was fun to play. I mean, kind of destroyed them a little bit. I mean, I, I guess maybe not destroyed, but we had a lot of really huge plays. Including that one. Rico Brown is wide open. And this is, I mean, this is what I like about this team is that uh, a lot of the offense returns from last season. Like, m pretty much all of our receivers, except for Vasquez. I stated that in the offseason video, I believe, but it's worth mentioning again. And our halfbacks, all returning. I mean, it's. It's good. Good times. Who knows? Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll beat Kentucky, and we'll be looking at a, a chance to to be that team. Who knows? But we also have West Virginia, and that's going to be a road game at West Virginia. It's going to be a very tough game, and that will no doubt be our toughest game of the season. There are some pictures. Yeah, pictures. We'll check out the final stats. 
Johnny Cruz, look at this, 12 of 15, 238 yards, two touchdowns. Again, take it with a grain of salt because of the defense we played, but nonetheless, good stats to have. I wanted to point something out here real quick because somebody had mentioned it to me um, in the style that I'm doing my video, or like the style of commentary and the way I edit the video. Um, and like, well, it's not very, it's not very original. Um, I'm aware of that. I'm not like trying to be super Mr. Out There original, like. I saw some other people that were doing this, and I like the style, and I just... For me, it's fun because I like to... It's kind of a way for me to document this dynasty in, in kind of a fun way. It's a, fu a new take on playing the game, and it's enjoyable for me. And, you know, it happens to be enjoyable for some other people as well, so I thought I'd share it with people. I don't care about trying to edit it differently or do my commentary in a completely different style because... I mean, I do things my own way. That's that's about that's original enough for me. So, you know, it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. It's it's some people just aren't going to like it, and that's the way it is. So, it's just that's life. Whatever. Anyway, enough of my little mini rant or whatever you want to call it. We had a 403 yards of total offense. Didn't turn the ball over, which is always an important stat. If you don't turn it over, you might just win. <laughs> Alright guys, well, uh, that's it. 38-17, the final. I will see you all in our next game, which will be against Kentucky, which I will also be including some recruiting for you guys, because I know some of you want to see that as well. So, uh, yeah, I will see you 